Hello my friends and welcome. Today IGN posted the first Armored Core 6 interview, featuring Miyazaki and Yamamura. This should help put to rest a lot of the quandaries involving the announcement of Armored Core 6. With the newly released Elden Ring Coliseum still pretty fresh, and a lack of AC6 footage, I thought I would let some of my recent fights play out while we go over the interview. As always, let's jump right in. Miyazaki talks about his role in the development of Armored Core 6. As initial game director, or a part of that initial game direction team, I worked with several other people on the early stages of the project, including engineers, designers, and other people at the director level, production level, so that we could define the early concept of the game, the early designs. More specifically, it involved myself and our line producer here, Kenneth Chan. He was working with me on the early stages of the project, as well as one other member from the team. And then eventually, we passed it over to Yamamura, who's joined us today as well, and he became the new director on the project. Hidetaka answers the burning question online regarding the direction of Armored Core and whether or not it'll be a Souls-like game following the success of Elden Ring. No, we've not been making a conscious effort to try to direct it towards a more Soulsborne type gameplay. First of all, let me just make that clear. The essential direction of Armored Core 6 was to go back and take a good look at the core concepts of Armored Core and what made that series special. So we wanted to take the assembly aspect, assembling and customizing your own mech, your AC, and then being able to exact a high level of control over the assembled mech. So we wanted to take those two core concepts and re-examine those in our modern environment. And of course, what that means is taking our know-how and experiences from game development in recent years and applying that knowledge to the development of Armored Core 6 and re-examining it together with those core concepts of Armored Core. So the real impetus for this project, I think, or at least one of the real appeals for me, comes from that aspect of assembly and being able to really freely assemble and customize the mech, I think is what we really highly focus on in Armored Core. And having mechs or mecha as a theme it's really about that high level of freedom that adjusting each individual part gives and how that affects the gameplay and the properties of your mech actually in combat. We think it's a little bit more liberating than, say, just swapping out armor or equipment. There's actually a much higher degree of freedom here. And being able to see these effects both in-game and as part of the world building and as part of your player choices, we feel like this is a very big part of what makes Armored Core special. Yamamura compares his work on Sekiro to the upcoming fires of Rubicon. There are no elements directly referring to Sekiro, but I feel both titles share the same essence of battles such as aggressive, speed change, and action-oriented fighting. For this title, by continuing to attack even the strongest enemy, the force of impact can break the enemy's posture and inflict a large amount of damage, a critical hit. This is the starting point for the slow and fast speed change of the battle. And when combined with long range firefighting and close range melee combat, the enemy and his machine engage each other violently, creating a more aggressive and dynamic battle that only mechas can engage in. What we want to stress is this reason to continue attacking and to continue on the offensive. If you want to create chances for yourself in combat and turn the battle to the player's advantage, so what we feel is, this is going to create a really nice back and forth flow in battles in Armored Core 6, and create this nice mix of offensive and defensive play. But we want the player to feel like they're consistently able to pressure the enemy, and that's why we incorporated some of these systems. With the Soul series and especially Sekiro having a focus more on melee combat, Yamamura explains how melee and up-close attacks might look in Armored Core. You're correct in saying Armored Core is generally about the guns, and ordnance, and missiles. So we want to cater to this aspect this time as well, of course. We have various weapons for various ranges and various encounters, both in the two hands and on the back as well, for missiles and cannons and things like that. But we wanted to put an emphasis on melee as well. So if players are in this way inclined, we do have some nice melee options if they want to dive in there and get into close quarters combat as well. Miyazaki talks Elden Ring's open world design 
again explaining the concepts of player freedom and if that is something planned for Armored Core. One of our objectives when creating Elden Ring and creating this new open field style was offering more freedom in approaching accounts and more player freedom in general. This was a major concept that we had in mind when approaching that game and we hoped that that would open it up to more people and more players. We didn't want to lower the level of challenge or dumb it down, so instead we wanted to increase the level of freedom. We want to introduce more people to that style of game and wanted more people to enjoy that. I don't know personally if it was successful or if it had a hand in that, but that's what we set out to do. So we didn't necessarily take the same approach with game design and with that core concept when developing Armored Core. When we set out to reboot the Armored Core series, we focused on those two concepts that we touched on earlier, that being the assembly aspect and the piloting aspect. So I feel like it was a very different approach right from the offset, but I think perhaps Yamamura can answer that a bit more clearly. Here Miyazaki takes a minute to describe how development at FromSoft has changed over the years and how far they've come as a studio. So actually, during the development of Armor Core 5, I think both myself and Yamamura were working on Dark Souls 1, so it's a little bit of a different situation there. But in terms of how we've changed as a company, in terms of approach to game development, I think it's safe to say that our team members and the resources we can put toward a game are very different now. Our level of know-how and skill has obviously increased over the years of developing these different games. So these are the main aspects that have changed in terms of the company and our approach. Our actual approach to the direction into the game development itself has not changed a great deal during that time. Like we said earlier, we wanted to take those original concepts of Armored Core and we wanted to apply our modern day company and our modern day team members and know-how and expertise to those core concepts. And I feel we're able to capitalize more on that now and able to really make the game that we wanted to make. Actually, I was the director on Armored Core 4 and 4 Answer. And of course in those days, the level of resources and the time that we could dedicate to game development was just a completely different ballpark. So I'm extremely jealous of the team today who gets to make this new Armored Core. I wish we had some sort of leverage back in the day. Of course, it does take time for the studio to cultivate staff and to learn and to grow. And I feel like we've used that time well. And I feel like this is the game that we're able to create now with that accumulated knowledge and with this team that has grown. But it also takes that praise and that support from players themselves. If we didn't have people playing and enjoying our games, we wouldn't have come this far. And I'm always extremely appreciative of that. Yamamura talks about what the studio can improve on Armored Core with FromSoft's newfound resources. I'd say, to give some specific examples, obviously the visuals, the level of expression we're able to achieve with our current studio and our current resources really lets us convey the visuals we want. Obviously, the mecha theme of Armor Core 6 means we're portraying these enormous hunks of steel, and we're supposed to imagine how these things would move and how they'd be put together. The various joints, how these all sort of move in conjunction with one another, and how we make this look cool in a gameplay sense as well. So this is something that we're able to apply resources to. Obviously, the metallic texturing of these things and the sound design as well. There are a lot of areas we're able to apply these resources and modern thinking as well. Coming off a decade of crafting Souls-like games, Miyazaki explains how this might shape the Armored Core series and the new entry coming soon. I think first of all, speaking to those aspects, you mentioned the heavy combat, the air of mystery, the exploration and sense of darkness. I think rather than being typical Soulsborne, these are just things that are typical for From Software in general. These are things we've always sort of enjoyed and always prided ourselves on. We don't want to give away too much with the storytelling. We always want to apply a certain level of challenge to keep it rewarding for the players. These are sort of my general habits when it comes to the game development. And these are just generally things I think we take from From Software history, going back as far as even Kingsfield. As for how young developers and directors like Yamamura are taking these elements and rearranging them, I think this is something that they can also answer separately as well. I think it directly applies to the element of heavy combat 
I think you put it. So how the player is able to apply themselves in combat, and how the feel of the player movement in the combat feels. I think this is going to be something very different when it comes to the mech themes and controlling these enormous machines. So I think this is something that I'm looking forward to, and something I hope players look forward to as well. Miyazaki answers why he's so drawn towards apocalyptic settings. I would say there are two main reasons why we tend toward these apocalyptic settings. One is purely direct to taste, and the preference is the game director and the game developers. I think this is something that, again, has applied in From Software history as well with our previous CEO. He directed the old Kingsfield and old school Armored Core games as well. So I think that's where that may have stemmed from. My tastes happen to be similar. So I think that's what you see a lot in the modern Soulsborne titles as well. So it does depend on the director's taste and personal idiosyncrasies. I think the second reason would be, this is kind of a technical reason, but I'd say that a lively bright setting is a little bit beyond from software's capabilities or experiences as a developer. So it's easier for us to direct and apply our own resources on what we're good at and what we're used to. And so it's easier for us to express ourselves within these kinds of darker and drier and quieter apocalyptic settings than livelier and busier ones. Armored Core is a mission-based game. Yamamura explains how the game world will function in the upcoming entry. AC6 will feature mission-based structure to the single player. It's not fully open, it's going to stick with that mission-based structure. In regards to that shot in the trailer in particular, there was this great disaster which was depicted in the trailer, which brought with it enormous changes to the environment, similar to what you'd see in an ice age. This shot is just a straightforward representation of the world of AC6 and the mecha pilots who have survived through the dramatic changes. So that's what we're trying to show with that shot. We'd like to think this is a completely fresh new story. There are no direct links with the previous games in terms of continuing story. This is a brand new setting and a brand new story for players to enjoy. Miyazaki talks about his experience working on previous Armor Core games. I haven't actually given a lot of thought, but I was of course much more inexperienced back when making Armored Core 4 and for answer, I think on PS3. It was a time when I had to learn a lot in regard to both the technical aspect and the design aspect of game development. So you could really call it my starting point for game development. One thing that hasn't changed is the core competence of Armored Core. Those aspects we touched on earlier, the assembly and piloting that mech that you've assembled, this is the core component that is carried through and that we're very conscious of with these games. Taking the significance of the themes of a particular title, so if it's Armored Core, it's going to be the mechs, and discovering what the key themes of each subsequent title was, whether that's Dark Souls, Bloodborne, or Sekiro. This is something that we've been very conscious of as we create these games. I think you'll see the themes and these key development concepts have influenced my games as a designer throughout the years. Here, Yamamura talks difficulty and how Armored Core 6 approaches challenge. Of course, with Armored Core 6, what we wanted to focus on was this really intense and tough mecha battles. We have generally tried to keep it on the challenging side, but it's not to say that it's a flat difficulty line throughout. We wanted to have some nice tempo changes and some nice balance to the difficulty and level of challenge. It can vary depending on the mission type, it depends on the enemies you're coming against in those missions. It depends on how you want to assemble your mech. But this one approach we wanted to have is to have the player decide how they wanted to assemble and how they wanted to approach each mission, and then to have this nice level of challenge throughout the missions and throughout the campaign. I would say that while these severe and intense battles is still much a focus of Armor Core 6 and something that carries between our games, the approach of how we handle this and how we design difficulty is actually quite different. You mentioned Sekiro and the approach there was this very stoic, one-track approach to battle with just the one weapon and just your resolve as a player. I feel like with Armored Core 6, the approach is quite different mainly because of that assemble aspect that you have. So your battle really starts in the AC garage 
where you're deciding which weapon and you're deciding which layout, what performance you want your AC to have in battle, and taking this forward to each encounter and each boss battle. So that's really part of the strategy this time, and I think that affects the difficulty greatly. Yamamura explains how progression works in AC6, and what we can expect in terms of parts and customizing our mechs. In terms of the types of parts, you can switch around when assembling your mech. This is going to be what you're familiar with in past AC games. There'll be a wide variety of different parts that you can exchange on different parts of your mech, so that aspect is going to be fully intact in Armored Core 6. The general game cycle is to clear missions, and you earn money and you use the money to buy more expensive weapons and parts. And also within that, you're tuning these parts, and you're tuning the weapons, and tuning your mech suit to your playstyle, changing parameters, changing the performance of various parts, to suit the way you want to approach each mission in each battle. I think you could call this the equivalent in Armored Core 6. I think you can imagine something similar to what we've had with previous Armored Core games, in terms of how you customize your mech parts, in terms of mobility, and how you're using that in the game as well. You can tune the generators or boosters to improve boosts or flight time, or boost height, or the explosiveness of the boost. These are all things that will apply in Armored Core 6 as well. Here Miyazaki talks a little bit about how AC6 will fit into the library of modern-day FromSoft games, like Sekiro and Elden Ring. I think it's mostly concerned with how this mission-based structure fits into modern games, and particularly modern FromSoft games. To answer this, I think player mobility and player ability obviously plays a huge part in how we approach the design to these games. Whether it's Elden Ring or Dark Souls or Armored Core, obviously the assembly aspect comes into that, and it doesn't quite apply to that fully open exploration approach. We had to choose from the outset of designing Armored Core 6, which approach we wanted to go with, and where we wanted to put the focus. This time, while there's an aspect of exploration in Armored Core 6, we wanted to put the focus on the breadth of variety, and in the assembly and customizing your own mech, and really feeling as if you're piloting that mech that you've carefully put time into. We felt that the mission-based structure was a benefit for this, because it allowed you to choose and customize before each sortie, the very least, the tempo, the pace at which the player is able to move across the world, and traverse the map. This is a very big aspect in how you approach this design. I think one of the big appeal points of the previous AC games is having this freedom to choose how you're going to move across the map, and how your choices are going to affect your mobility and your ability once you're actually in the level. This is the format we wanted to choose this time, and this is where we wanted to put our focus. Yamamura quickly confirms PvP, or Versus Mode. We do plan to have a Versus Mode, similar to previous Armor Core titles, where you'll be able to customize your mech and take that fully customized mech into battle with others. But we will reveal more details about this at a later date. The main focus in AC6, on the story mode at least, is having that story develop and play out. We've concentrated on single player for the story mode, Please stay tuned for more multiplayer details at a later date. Okay guys, that was a hefty interview, and hopefully answers some of the questions you might have had about FromSoft's next entry into their stylish mech series. I hope this video finds you well, have fun, and stay safe, my friends.